सो एक हफ्ता पहले एक मीम बहुत वायरल चली गई थी एंड फॉर सम रीजन लम्स गॉट ड्रैग इन टू दिस इवन दो आई डोंट थिंक आई ऑफ यू आर फ्रॉम लम्स तो आई डोंट वांट ब्रिंग यू गाइस ऑन टू डिस्कस पाकिस्तान में क्या हालात हैं सो एनीबॉडी हु वांट्स टू वेन फर्स्ट आई वुड जस्ट लाइक टू अपॉलोजाइज टू हाजरा बिकॉज़ आई थिंक द मीम गॉट फायर एंड इस तरह चली थी बिकॉज़ ऑफ मी uh you get ever since i posted my eat pic i didn't realize i mean i didn't realize my account was public but people went off on that so i think i won the first time i saw the meme that had hajra in it also was the one just where on the cover the actually but the out aside from batmizi or not batmizi pakistanis are very funny so us pe रिलेटेड <laughs> This one was like a whole new level because how it's this so the meme came much later because um I posted my eat photo on Twitter mm-hmm. and Twitter was on fire um in terms of uh all the all the negativities and the cyber bullying that came on it was it was it was ugly it was really 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 ugly and I can handle my stuff but um this one was tough and then it it caught on and you know um i did a whole post a story about how uh we should have gender neutral uh clothing and like how there's absolutely zero concept of gender gender neutral fashion in pakistan and how and how and and the difference and and basically reason why somebody would wear something they would wear and not because um you know they want to be a certain gender or they want to be a certain whatever it's mostly why you you put clothes on to feel comfortable and if i feel comfortable in that kurta shalwar that i wore on it i'm i'm happy and and the problem is, i mean people don't realize that maybe i'm i wore that to avoid comments about wearing skin fit clothes on eid and you know how it's corona and how uh, so, so i mean the conclusion is people talk and especially people in pakistan are funny as hell and they will talk all sorts of bullshit that they can basically come up with i think zulfi is right <clears throat> i don't think uh, itni badi deal hoti agar zulfi beech mein nahi hota if it was just hazra wearing a boys shalwar kameez i think honestly kali mein wo nikal jata i was sorry sorry ha so i was saying ki i was shocked ki uh, hazra got dragged into it because up to for example generation wagera lots of these like brands even make like mardon ke kurta shalwar kameez type for uh, for women so uh, like even i think i actually even came across hajra's uh, picture way before it became a meme and i i like it's it's uh, funny for me because like mere do teen dost wagera who are not kahi se bhi activist ya celebrity wagera wagera love when generation did this like mardana type uh, shalwar kameez because uski fitting was more comfortable quite literally so i th- i was kind of surprised ki the trolls like uh, got so sort of fueled on ha- on hajra's uh, uh, eid outfit because i think up to it's become even more common for like that mardana type fit yeah yeah i, I was saying um i so when i speak about my the, the trolling that happened with with my outfit and everything it was mostly it didn't have a lot of a lot of like zulfi in it it had a lot of um uh, good hybrid had a lot of trance it had a lot of uh oh uh yeah, yeah um you know all the terms when i you can come up with when i said good hybrid it's the kind of vocabulary that was sort of kind of used for me as an individual and zulfi wasn't even dragged until like two days later when people were like okay time for me because look we found out somebody who's wearing something that he's comfortable with um yeah and and it's i don't even i have nothing to say about our com because one day it's something else another day it's something else uh they're just sitting at home bored out of their minds um and they'll come up with and try to rain on anybody's parade 
but um, I don't think either one of us is somebody who's going to let that affect us. Uh, Haja, you've also spoken about uh, having clinical depression and somebody who has suffered through clinical depression in my life and also face vehement trolling for God knows how long. So you, I mean, it's it's quite easy to say this, K it doesn't affect you, but really does it. So like, even if I'm talking to somebody, I'll be like, no, it doesn't matter. These are just trolls who are nobodies. They're just sitting out on a computer and projecting their hate. But after reading you're just like, yeah, I'm... Yeah, it's not bad. Of course. Yeah. That's why, you know, initially what I was saying, when I said I've dealt with trolls easy, but this one was like a whole new level. This one, I would categorize as cyberbullying. Trolls super nature edge out there. I was like, but this one was a whole new level because uh, I was just in my room for two days. I was like, all I said was Eid Mubarak, guys. Like, you know, and, and it's not the first time I've worn this. this these clothes, um, so Awami is a brand that the clothes that I wear for is Awami. Yeah, yeah, Parisian brand. And I have dressed like this at the presidency. I've, I met him to see the president like uh, two months ago. I was wearing something like this. There's like, it's a full Sarakamese with like a, a nice blazer on top as well, like a next president look. And then I also <laughs> did this at the PSL when I was at the PSL. I was invited to the PSL, I'm wearing something, again, precious clothes, but like a whole different look, same kind of style, because that's what I kind of like to wear or like be comfortable in, you know? So it's got people's eye now. I've been wearing these shalwar kameez, these kurta shalwars for years. And, um, you know, it's just, um, it did affect me. It was because, like I said, I did this long, long post about how certain kind of clothing should be normalized. But then in the end of it, I also did how cyberbullying was a real thing and people need to like consider this. And also the fact that um, in, our, in, our, in our bills, uh, uh, cyberbullying over gender is, is still not a terrorist level, basically. Um, it is for minorities. If you say something against minorities, bam, listen. Say something against something else, there's nothing on gender. And, um, but it was just, but this, I kept, kept it simple because, uh, nobody's going to understand it here in Pakistan and, uh, let alone, you know, uh, try to fix the problem. But, uh, yeah, this one was a, a, a different level. It was very difficult for me to handle this one. Uh, it was cyberbullying, like I categorized it, um, because I've been bullied when I was growing up. So I know what it is. Um, and, uh, it was difficult. I feel like, but now I'm fine. I mean, you know, it's been 10 days to eat. Now I'm like. Okay, chilling. Yeah, I mean, it just takes a lot out of you, right? It's unneeded. Why am I taking 10 days mental highway ki dust lanes mein se no spend worrying about things people have said? And yes, uh, one should be mentally tough and not internalized, but there's only so much, right? Once a flood of trolling is Sorry? We're human at the end of the day. Yeah. We feel emotion. Yeah, and I don't think people realize that the person in front of a screen is another human being. It's very easy to go online and just throw one stone and be like, man, you didn't do anything. I was only in the picture of Kandil's picture. She should die. I didn't kill her. Yeah, but enough of you did that. That forced one person to actually do it. Uh, Zulfi, you're a little more uh, when it comes to these things. You take people on and say shit. So you deal with it slightly differently. Um... Honestly, uh, this is my first, like, I've very recently become active on Twitter and Instagram. Pe to bagera, like, for example, Mera Khulia, as my Ami likes to call it, is not, like, new to me or people who are, like, familiar with my work or my music or even Mere, like, Janne wale, extended Janne wale. Like, for example, I went to HSN College for Bara Saal, right? And so everyone and their ma in Hitchison College not only knows about my Hulia, but has all, also had discussions about my Instagram, ye, my Instagram, oh, vagera, vagera. But I've never had like an onslaught of mm-hmm. like a cyberbullying type of an assault until I actually posted this picture on Twitter. Because I realized that Twitter, if you have a public profile, ho, the way that the retweeting, sharing thingy works, वो बहुत वाइड टाइमलाइंस पे आपकी चीज आने आने लग जाती है तो पहले भी जब शुरू में लोग एक मेरा एक मेरा लाइक अपना जिंदगी का वैसे असूल है कि मेरा हुलिया एक साइड पे आदमी जात मर्द जात 
मेरे साथ बदतमीजी करके नहीं अपनी सेल्फ रिस्पेक्ट मेंटेन करके निकलेगा ये मेरा एक पर्सनल असूल है कि जो मर्जी हो जाए हो जाए बदतमीजी करके मर्द मेरे साथ अपनी सेल्फ रिस्पेक्ट इंटैक्ट करके नहीं निकलेगा ये मैं आई ट्राई टू प्रैक्टिस इट ऑल्सो मगर आई थिंक आई डोंट नो इफ यू सॉ बट आई ऑल्सो एट द एंड ऑफ द डे हैड टू गो प्राइवेट बिकॉज़ यार एक चीज ये हो जाती है कि इनकी लाइक हाजर सेड इनकी जेंडर के बेसिस पे बातें इनकी इस तरह की छोटी साइबर बुलिंग देयर मैनेजेबल देयर टॉलरेबल बट द फैक्ट ऑफ द मैटर इज के इवन एन एरा गैरा मर्द इन पाकिस्तान ना एंड आई डू थिंक दिस गोज अक्रॉस क्लास लाइंस आल्सो जब उस बंदे का डिसीजन हो ना कि अब मैं रिलीजन की एक्सट्रीमिज्म को मोबिलाइज करना चाहता हूँ तब वो कुछ भी कर सकता है yeah. तो मेरी जो इंस्टाग्राम सॉरी मेरी जो ट्विटर बायो है ना उस पर पहली चीज लिखी हुई है इनशाला जेंडर जिहाद ठीक है और इनशाला जेंडर जिहाद एक इट्स इट्स वाइडली सेलिब्रेटेड इट्स अ वेरी ओल्ड एटीज से निकला हुआ इट्स थियोलॉजिकल लिबरेशन कॉन्सेप्ट जो लोगों ने इस्लाम के बेसिस पे निकाला है जिसपे मेरा बहुत यकीन है एंड इट्स जस्ट इट्स अ वेरी सूफी वे ऑफ Living life, right? Between, uh, mediating between Hak and Zul, etc., etc. Complicated, etc. लोगों ने dissertations लिखी हुई हैं. मगर एक बंदे ने क्या किया? बाकी लोग तो सारी बातें बोलते कह रहे थे. हिजड़ा कह दिया, खुसरा कह दिया, ये कह दिया. These are not insults for me, right? At all. I actually don't even. Uh, it's and it's not even that. Oh, politically, I'm saying these are not insults for me. Genuinely, it's not an insult for me to be called any of these things. That frankly. I don't mind associating myself with because, ha, huh, I am not your cookie cutter mother. Then, frankly, I'm gonna die before becoming one. But hey, one person said one thing that, ah, okay, this was your hulia, etc. It was right, but you, who brought Islam to the middle, this can be your death. Ah, and he took this, inshallah, gender jihad thing and took a screenshot of it. और वहां से जब वो साइको एक्सट्रीमिस्ट की रीट्वीटिंग शुरू हुई है ना कि ओ हो 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 ओके ये क्या है इस पे तो हम कर देंगे फट्टा इस पे लड़ाई शुरू हो जाएगी मेरा वंस अगेन एक और असूल है कि मैं वंस अगेन मैं मेरे बाकी दोस्त वगैरह मुझे ना बहुत लाइक क्रिटिसाइज और ऑनेस्टली एडवाइस करते हैं कि यार ज्यादा ना पंगे लिया करो कभी ना कभी कुछ ना कुछ हो जाएगा कंदील ने जो इतनी ज्यादा हरकतें भी नहीं की थी जितनी तुम कर रहे होते हो देखो उसके साथ क्या किया एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा वो कल्चर ऑफ फियर दैट आर कंट्री लव्स टू फाइंड कंफर्ट इन मगर वंस अगेन मैं मर जाता लेकिन वो इंशाल्लाह जेंडर जहाज मेरी ट्विटर बायो से नहीं निकल रहा था तो फिर मैंने इसलिए कहा कि अभी मैं थोड़ी देर प्राइवेट कर लेता हूँ ये थोड़ा लाइक हाजर से इनको तो चाहिए कुछ बोलने के लिए दो दिन में दिल भी ओवर इट राइट दो दिन मैंने प्राइवेट किया उनने अपनी सारी जो भड़ास थी जो कम निकली नहीं निकली वो खत्म होगी दो दिन बाद मैं दोबारा पब्लिक एंड वंस अगेन एवरीथिंग इज चिलिंग एक बहुत अच्छा इंसिडेंट हुआ था कि एक बंदे ने ना एक बंदे ने हाजर मेरी वाली वो मीम लगाई हुई थी तो उस मीम पे ना उसने वो मीम लगा के उसने इस्लाम की बात की वो ही कि जी जब मर्द औरत की तरह लगने लग जाएगा और औरत मर्द की तरह लगने लग जाएगी तब क्या मत बहुत करीब आ जाएगी जैसे अल्लाह ने बताया था ना कि लिपस्टिक औरतों के लिए मैं भेज रहा हूँ बनेगी और मर्दों के लिए हम लूज फिट लूज फिट प्लेन कलर कुर्ते बनाएंगे और लड़कियों के लिए हम फ्लावर्स बनाएंगे कुर्ते पे तो उस बंदे से ना उस बंदे उस बंदे ने वो सारी कॉमे लूथ वगैरह की बात की और मेरे ट्विटर फॉलोअर्स जो मेरे बहुत अच्छे दोस्त ज्यादातर वैसे औरतें और लड़कियां ही हैं लेकिन काफी एक दो एक चार मर्द भी हैं तो उन लोगों ने ना जाके उस बंदे को बड़ा कहा कि ये आप गलत लाइक ओ लाइक उसको रिवर्स लेफ्टिस्ट साइबर बोली करने की कोशिश की लेकिन मुझे उससे आई डोंट सी ए पॉइंट इन दैट तो आई एक्चुअली रीच आउट टू दैट बंदा ऑन ट्विटर डीएम और मैंने उस ट्विटर डीएम पे उसको कहा कि मैंने कहा यार आपने ये बात करने की थोड़ी कोशिश की थी ये मैं आपको दो तीन जरा जरा इस्लाम के रिसोर्सेज दे रहा हूँ ठीक है कि अगर आप पढ़ेंगे तो आपका खुद ही ओपिनियन इस चीज पे चेंज हो जाएगा वैसे मेरा फर्ज आपको सिर्फ बताना है बाकी जिस तरह का आपने काम किया है आई नो कि आपने तो जोक जोक मारा है और वो निदा करमानी को जो उनने क्या कहते हैं प्रोफेसर निदा करमानी पे जो उनने तंज किया था कि ये निदा करमानी के स्टूडेंट्स हैं हालांकि वन सेकेंड हम दोनों नहीं है प्रॉफ करमानी के स्टूडेंट्स तो उस पे जब मैंने उसे कहा कि आज जो ये तुमने इस तरह की घटिया बात की है इससे सिर्फ एक ही काम होएगा 
कि हमारी तो कुछ हमें फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा लेकिन एंड में अगर जो भी तुम्हारे फॉलोअर्स वगैरह हैं उनके अराउंड कोई कोई भी ट्रांस पर्सन या कोई भी नॉन कंफॉर्मिस्ट बंदा या बंदी है जो कुकी कटर मर्द औरत नहीं है उसके लिए यू आर जस्ट सॉर्ट ऑफ लेजिटिमाइजिंग वायलेंस और रिडिक्यूल अगेंस्ट दैम तो तुम भी अगर अल्लाह का नाम लेके ये बात कर रहे हो तो आई डोंट थिंक तुम ये करना चाहते हो मेरी यार तो उसने वो एक्चुअली बहुत पॉजिटिवली उस चीज का रिस्पांस किया उसने कहा वो आपने मुझे समझा दी मुझे एक्चुअली बात समझ आई है ओहो मैं तो गलत मैंने तो गलत किया था आई डिलीटेड द पोस्ट मैं सिर्फ प्रॉफ के मानी को तंज करना चाहता था सो यू आर सेइंग यू आर ट्रांसजेंडर आई वाज लाइक आई एम ट्रांस एंड तो उसने कहा कि आज आई रिस्पेक्ट यू गाइस अ लॉट एक्चुअली आई एम सॉरी कि आई हैव इवन मेड दिस ट्वीट एंड वंस अगेन आई थिंक बहुत सी डिस्कशन हो सकती है इस इंटरेक्शन पे बट आई वाज जस्ट इंटरेस्टेड के उस बंदे ने मेरी बात घर पे गालियाँ खाते हैं या स्कूल जाते हैं और टीचर्स उनके बदतमीजी करते हैं या ऑफिस जाते हैं तो बहुत जल्दी करते हैं कहाँ निकालू मैं राइट वी डोंट एन आउटलेट एंड गो ऑनलाइन एंड जस्ट say the most wild things to feel better about themselves uh i mean you bring a lot of great points like hajra also said ke shouldn't this be better for you agar if you're wearing these loose fitted kapde agar aap ek islamic notion se ja rahe hain isn't this better uh yeah but it's also uh phir aadmi ki ego bhi to hoti hai na i'm wearing a kurta shalwar and he's wearing the same but i'm pulling it off way better than he ever will <laughs> i think that's what it is hazra you looked better you looked great i think that's the issue we showed it ke yaar acha nahi kapde problem nahi hai kapde mein to log acche lagte hain hum problem hai i think that was the <laughs> do you do you also get trolled for like shorts ke aap aur aur ek shorts pehen ke football khel rahe hain uh wo to uh that's i mean it used to happen 10 years ago when i started playing but abhi to it's like it's it's because it's very professional people have accepted it or uh, because most of my twitter like is a lot of foreign a lot of like the real deal i mean all the trolling that happened was not none of my they weren't really my followers they, like they were not following and i'm glad they weren't because whatever i don't know 28000 followers that i have there's just good solid stuff like i have i'm talking about uh football or something across the world i'm talking about like real the real deal you know so me posting about something in shorts or even um, these clothes it was very positively taken by the people that matter to me basically you know so even with these football uh, the shorts the trolling it doesn't really happen at all even like on facebook nowadays or like it used to happen 10 years ago when people would be like acha ye ho raha ye ho raha ye ho raha but जलजला आ जाता है और मैं अपनी उसी साइड में उसी टाइम पे कोई अपनी फोटो लगा दूं फुटबॉल वाली देर भी लाइक इसलिए तो तो ये लगता है आपको ये जानते हुए कि आपने इतने अर्थक्वेक्स और डिजास्टर्स आप कोरोना लिख रही हैं पाकिस्तान में कोरोना भी मैं लेके आई हूं क्योंकि नहीं कोरोना सुल्फी लेके आया जलजले में लेके आया पाकिस्तान को नस्तो दाबूत करने के लिए दो लोग आए नेशनल फुटबॉल टीम थ्री गिनेस वर्ल्ड रेकर्ड ज्वाइन द टीम वेन यूर सिक्सटीन आई बिलीव कैप्टन एट वेन यूर ट्वेंटी तो मतलब किस मुंह से आप ट्रोल कर रहे हैं ना हाजरा खान को कि आप हैं कौन थैंक्स वो ये इट्स जस्ट इट इज स्टिल द सेम आप यू गो टू प्ले यू यू गो यू आर अ मैच और एनीथिंग एंड एंड देन देयर इज आल्सो ऑलवेज गोइंग टू बी दैट स्मॉल ग्रुप दैट्स गोइंग टू बी लाइक और अगर जबरदस्त खेल है इवन लाइक ऑन दिस पिक्चर राइट पीपल फाइंड इट ऑन ट्विटर एंड दे कम ऑन माय इंस्टाग्राम and uh, not following me and they're going to be like looking good if you wore your peshawari shawl it would be nicer kabhi aapne try kiya shawl pehen ke football khelne ka and i'm just like what and you know uh, and and then they want to start comparing like uh, you know uh, 
اسلامی جمہوریت ساری اسلامی جمہوریت پاکستانی مرد ہوں تو میری But that's also a random comment. They don't care. آپ مجھے ہی بول رہے ہیں کہ میں نے یہ کیا پہنا ہوا ہے لیکن آپ انسٹاگرام بھی میرا ہی دیکھیں بریانی نہیں بنانی آتی تو میں کیا کروں گا مطلب I'm playing football, I'm doing all of these things that I've been doing for 12 years. How, why will you just disregard all of that and comment on what I'm wearing on Eid, which is yeah. my choice, you know? So, yeah, I mean, it's a lot of stuff that goes on in dinner. Kisi, Malvi Saad ne ebhi fatwa diya tha, ki Saniya Mirza, jab tennis khelti, unko shorts nahi pehni jaiye. And I was like, wo khel kis ke saath rahi hai, right? You're still, if, if your issue is that you watch and get excited, she's still playing against Maria Sharapova. Tum kya ek side of the screen dekho ge? <laughs> Once you hear Maria Sharapova playing like, what will you do? Nahin ki shukar chane. Saniya ne to kamal kam pajama pehna hai na. And, uh, <laughs> Saniya is also a problem for them because she's Shoei Malik's uh, wife. She, they wouldn't care about her if she was Saniya Mirza. Hai. To humari bhabi hai. <laughs> <laughs> بھابی کی تو ہمیں ریسپیکٹ کرنی چاہیے باقی ماریا شاہ تو ٹھیک ہے بھابی تو ایسی چیزیں نہ کریں نا یا ایون دا موسٹ ایکسٹریم ایگزامپل میا خلیفہ گیو این انٹرویو ریسنٹلی اینڈ شی واز لائک آل دیز مین فرام عرب کنٹریز ہو کامنٹ آن مائی پکچر کہ یو شوڈ بی ڈوئنگ دس دیر از دا ونس ہو کلکنگ آن اٹ یو آر آن دیٹ ویب سائٹ واچنگ ہے and then saying no you are muslim sister you should not be doing this well what are you doing on that website muslim brother <laughs> exactly they just on it i mean that's what i'm saying like dekhna bhi hai comment bhi karna hai mazhe bhi lena hai lekin uh, masle bhi ho rahe hain aur masle isliye hote hain bas kyunki post karna hota hai lekin they're just like oh the what up and no then they're going to be thinking oh i hope meri baat na sun le asal you know so it's just all of that <laughs> <laughs> yeah and i think both of you really question na ke it's it's not either of you as people i think as individuals i don't think anybody cares enough ke hazra khan ki personal life mein kya karti hai zulfi apni personal life mein what uh, ever zulfi is doing it's oh they are like zulfi said they're not in that cookie cutter box that we've created ke yaar hamare liye to gender identities ye hain ye hona chahiye ye hona chahiye ye insaan agar usse kuch different hai then The fear is other people will follow. Oh my God, our whole system will be destroyed. If our women don't stay at home and make biryani, if they're like, oh, we have to play football. What? And honestly, yeah. they're not like in the sense that I think, uh, and I think Prof. Kirmani talked about this in your, in the podcast you did with her also, but also I think uh, she talks about this in her Lums courses. masculinity is in a crisis, right? I think we are in a definitely a socio-economic moment where جو پہلے جو ایک ماسکلنٹی کی ہم نے کنسٹرکشن کی تھی جس ماسکلنٹی پہ لوگوں کو اکنامک ایڈوانٹیجز اور اکنامک لائک اسپیڈ اپ دا لیڈر ملا کرتی تھی جس جس بیسس پہ لوگوں کو وہ بیویاں ملتی تھی جو وہ ان کی وائلڈسٹ فینٹسیز ہوتی تھی وہ رشتے ان کو پرفر کرتے تھے جو ان کی وائلڈسٹ فینٹسیز ہوتی تھی الاٹ آف دوز سارٹ آف الاٹ آف دوز میکنزمز آر اینٹیکیٹنگ And it is true that if someone like me or someone like Hajra sort of rejects, rejects their, uh, their boxes, not just for aesthetic uh, reasons or for that, oh, these are my identity reasons, hai, but then also finds a, a socioeconomic and political acceptance in the larger world around them, then it is a threat to them because 
for and I think the threat is Mira wala threat, so I think is largely symbolic, right? Because it's like a symbolic threat to this construction of uh, masculinity. But I think the Hadra wala threat is more uh, uh, fucking substantial to Pakistani patriarchy, but largely patriarchy in general. Because especially when you wear a kurta that's loose fitted, right? Just based of only masla ye hai ke ek wo mardana collar hai. Or that you didn't wear we decided on the women. And they don't have, they don't, largely don't have an Islamic argument against it. They don't have a, a riwayat argument against it. They largely don't have many arguments against what Hajra is doing. But what Hajra is doing is that she's also the most successful Pakistani footballer period. Not the most successful woman Pakistani footballer, but the most successful Pakistani footballer. And all these other londas, forgive my language, but all these other londas, whose whole identity at times is around football or that we are heroes. We are so hot in the ground, 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 but we don't want to believe it. We are not even in the ground. We are now going to decide that we are going to see these moments of successes, these moments of novelties. And yeah, I think they are threatened because in key power is very real. Hum like hum a lot of time feminism ko women empowerment ke, ke, uh, mein baat karte hai, but I think what we really need, and I think a lot of men might be pissed off. Uh, uh, with this statement, but what we really need is a uh, is a socio political disempowerment of men because they are a, at a privileged uh, status of power where they are running our economy, they are running our uh, social stratosphere, they are running uh, they are running the uh, the direction Pakistan should end up in the the history that Pakistan and the subcontinent has been a part of. And then the worst part is, the worst, absolute jahil part of it that I think most Ammis and Bhene of the entire country will uh, uh, resonate on, is that they're running these things on the principles and the same ideologies of their own masculinities, which the world is finding out in this like climate crisis that's oncoming, that these 200 years of ideologies, these people who don't say stern people who don't tell you about the real world, they 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 don't tell you about the real world. The real world that they're talking about is just the past 200 years of capitalist world order, which is a masculinist world order because it was spread because of these Gore Londe, who were put on boards to go to different places and be like, Inko batao kaise karna hai. So, I think the threat is real, and I do think uh, in very different fields football and music, and in, in a way, typical fields, right? Because football is supposed to be this like mardon ki glamorous field. Messi, Ronaldo, I'm mardon ka glamour, mardon ki vanity. And with me, as I hope to be a pop star and poet of the Lady Gaga, uh, uh, Lady Gaga stature, I am the ortho ka glamour, <coughs> and glamour represents class. So, unki to bhati bhi ra. Kaise lagta hai jab aapko sabki baad gaye? Mic drop. How does it feel, Hajra? Aapne sabki baad diye. <laughs> no, but he's hundred uh, percent right because um, even even if there's if somebody so when I'm introducing myself or like when a friend introduces me at, at a social gathering, um, there's it's different how I do it and it's different how they do it. So my friends would be like, "Oh, hey, meet Kajal. This is the captain of the Pakistan national football team and everything." And I'm just like, you know, so that's like the first thing being introduced. When I'm having a conversation with somebody, I just have a conversation with somebody, and if I'll be like. Okay, maybe it's worth telling this guy what I do because most men are like, you tell them something, or you tell them you've done something, they'll be like, oh, how many people? And I'm just like, <laughs> you can, this is how they are. You tell them you captain the national team and like you played abroad and like you know, uh, and all of these things, and they're like, yeah, I played in high school too. You know, my high score was like uh, the top 
the top number of goals I scored in a match was like three, and I was like, I've scored twelve goals in one game. Screw you, you know. So it's just, um, it's. But they still want to come back. They, they, they're going to come back, and they're just trying, like you know, tell me how I'm like still down here while they're like there with their nine to five call center duties and shit. And I'm just like, do you? And- I will do me. You know? That is so hilarious, yeah. If people do that, like usually jokes are there, right? Online, be, kya ha, ladki wo kya pata, Messi or Ronaldo. Even if they take a picture, they're like, picture, just keep it. You know, pata bhi hai, ye kaun hai? Like football, to aisi cheez hai na ki aurat ke chote se dimaag mein jai nahi sakta. Kya goal karna hai? Ye kya hota hai? So it's hilarious if that happens to you. If in social gatherings, they're like, ah, isko kya pata hoga? Messi kaun hai? Yes, yeah, and they're so. Uh, Conversation only like football ke baare mein like they're watching games and like in two seconds I can figure out which one is only throwing names and which one knows their shit right and um <clears throat> and there's going to be a time where I smartly button and be like what are you even talking about this guy retired five years ago you know <laughs> and he's just gonna be like because a man is not going to do that to another man because you know yeah. conversation like gathering mess and I'm just going to be like. You're yeah, doing it right. it's the same with even economics or something, right? And I was watching some of your interviews to prepare for this podcast, the phenomenal research that I do in the five minutes. <laughs> but <laughs> two men interviews they came and sorry, football ki baat karke, dono interviews ended with. Like even after all, like going through your achievements for 10 minutes, both the interviews ended with. चलें ये सब तो ठीक है गिनेस वर्ल्ड रिकॉर्ड कर लिया आपने ये वो पर शादी तो करें ना आई नो दे हैव टू लाइक पिच इन दिस क्वेश्चन दे जस्ट हैव टू आई एम 26 टर्निंग 27 एंड दिस ईयर एंड दे आर जस्ट गोइंग टू बी लाइक सो व्हाट्स द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इन योर लाइफ एंड आई एम जस्ट लाइक सीइंग यू ऑफ द डोर बट um इट्स जस्ट इट्स जस्ट हाउ इट्स बिकम यू नो um दे दे विल टॉक अबाउट व्हाट यू डू and what you've achieved and how you stand out amongst other women or how you're being an example for the young girls who are coming in and how basically dude when i was when i was started playing football there were zero role models in sports female role models in sports and that was the day i realized that you know i have to become one so imagine at 11 or at 14 when i started playing or at 16 when i was on the national team my goal is to buy this country is crappy it doesn't have a female sports role model and it's time to become one so there's like generations and generations coming after me who have to get on and play a sport females mostly and today there it's, it's i've got young boys looking up to me i've got young girls looking up to me i have got like older people looking up to me and it's just that was my goal right now these interviewers they come in with their own goals for me for what my next step is going to be like say so, yeah mera i kicked off my own sports academy last year and that was like my ultimate goal right but now there's more goals um on the on the same field related because all of these things that happened all of the shady all the situations that happened it's going to roll in with whatever is happening in my life like you know generally if it has to happen it's going to happen like the guinness records had to happen they have i had to become captain i became captain i had to become the best in pakistan i became the best in pakistan there's no man in pakistan or a pakistani woman pakistani men's team uh, <coughs> excuse me mard ka naam muh pe aata hai to fir ye ek hota hai ek repulsion to hoti hai i i am the same and i have to say pakistani mard mera bhi kofta na shuru ho jati hai Yeah no see it's just no man on a uh, men's football team has the same number of achievements right but i didn't start playing to put a man down i didn't start it that way i started with the aim to to set a standard that hasn't been set before and i think i did right now my standard like, like right now i'm here for myself people coming and telling me i should be married or like here <clears throat> you know what i'm what i'm doing next is like here and i'm thinking beyond this so i listen to them and their small uh, mentality and i just like t you know 
all of this is going. I don't care. So it's just it's annoying in first place. They end a, a, a good ass conversation with a crappy ass comment, and I'm just like, you just wasted seventy five hours of my life, you know. So like, talk about things that matter, and most of them now understand. Locals, they don't understand. Every local interview you'll watch, every uh, they're just going to talk about the same stuff, including men, yeah. Bade bade admi interview kar rahe hote, and they're just going to be like, acha to fir uh, family start. Sports uh, related, Jahil. So I don't know exactly where in your career you are right now, but what are your next steps with regards to your career? Like, what does it mean to be a captain right now? What are your like involvements and what are desire aspirations for yeah, going further? Excellent question. So, um, you know, like Shazad was mentioning before, how I started playing at 16, I was captain at like 20. Um, and i was captain at 20 with seniors on my team with like people who were 25 26 right and um, so for an athlete in pakistan or for a footballer um, i don't know i should compare it with another country so you know where i stand in mind um, you start playing for a club which is like every city has multiple clubs and you play for one and then all of these clubs across the country they have a tournament and like you know uh, which is a national championship and then you get selected uh, to be on to attend a national training camp amongst uh, 40 50 other players just can they say you just pull out like 18 or 22 players right out of which and um, 80% are from karachi united just saying karachi is the best just <laughs> i beat karachi united in the national <laughs> championship seven goals to one <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> sorry mazeli log <laughs> seven goals to one <laughs> karachi art for life <laughs> <laughs> But it's like Karachi United, the best club in Pakistan. Uh, apart from you being a child, brought you from Karachi United is like. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let me let me. I'm gonna ignore Shahzad because there's so many things that he might not be able to hear if I start talking. Go for it! <laughs> Shoot! Uh, Destroy my city pride for me. <laughs> from karachi i'm a karachi i so like you know homie you're a homie you know <laughs> but um yeah so you get picked up and then you're uh, and then further in like your um uh, a you don't get picked up easily for the national camp anywhere in the world um i got picked up when i was 14 and then 16 was when the first national team was made um and i <clears throat> became vice captain at 18 so just two years of playing football for Pakistan I was already vice captain and then in two years I was captain already I've been captain since 2014 and like um it's it's crazy because <clears throat> it's like you know how you can I mean just think about being a cricket cap so it, it it's got to like take a lot of consistent hard work to sort of get there um anybody uh, foreign it's like being on the national team i go I, i i go around here people recognize me a little bit but like they don't know what it really means to be yeah. um you know who i am or what i've done but i step out abroad anywhere and they're going to start like they go crazy they're like you play on the national team and they go crazy just knowing that i play on the national team and then i tell them i'm captain and they're just going to lose their shit because it's supposed to be like a, an honorary yeah. thing you know that's happening um yeah and so like my goals i mean i was interviewed when i was 20 and um because when i started playing at 14 i i i had set four goals for myself which was like uh, uh be the best in box and i became the best with like i'm still the top in pakistan in 12 years thank you fingers crossed uh i wanted to be on the national team i came on and then i wanted to become the captain i became captain so <clears throat> at 16 for at 14 i just had four goals and at 20 i was already done being the captain and playing in europe and i'm like i'm 26 now and then at 20 i was like is that all that i was thinking 
but if you speak to like a, a regular somebody or a newer player or a fresh player, they'll really know what it takes to sort of get all those all four achievements, right? So um, it kind of make me feel, makes me feel good about myself. But I have a sports academy now. I have three Guinness records on top of the four goals that I had for myself. And um, I, uh, uh, it's, I've played in multiple countries now and it's just, it keeps getting better. So that's the whole point. I don't know what's next for me because it just keeps coming. And, um, you know, it just keeps happening. I don't know. Bas, this is a very easy job. I won the record and won the record. But has uh, women's international football resumed in Pakistan? Because I think PFF was banned from FIFA. After that, for a few years, the men's team was still touring, but the women's team was not. Yeah, um, the men's team was touring. Uh, soon after, like, you know, the ban was lifted, they were touring, but we still haven't gotten a chance to play. Um, and, and this it's is kind what? of unfair. This has been four years? Yeah, in the past four years, they've toured like multiple times and we haven't at all. Um, women's team had a better ranking on the FIFA World Ranking. Um, the men's team's ranking is still crappy after playing the games. And I know for a fact that the women's ranking can be improved very, very, very easily if only we get games because our team was good. Like, I'll give you a small example. When we started playing football, uh, when the, Pax, the first Pakistan team in 2010, women's, played against Nepal, they beat us 12-0. Now, that's a very high score for football, right? 2014, I was captaining, they beat us 2-0. Now, and you see the difference? Yeah. From 12-2 in three years is... They're blind. They're blinded. I get paid when I'm at camp. Right now, I'm not at camp. When I'm at the football training camp, the national training camp, I get paid 300 rupees a day. 300 rupees, which is not worth 2 dollars. 300 rupees a day, and we eat crappy food, salon roti, which is not good for uh, athletes' consumption. I eat better food here at home, knowing that I need to keep fit, you know. Um, we're doing our own laundry. We're doing, we're going through shit. We have like crappy living situations. There's like 10 girls sharing a two bathroom cubicle, uh, two cubicle bath, whatever you want to say. So it's just, we do it out of love for the country and the game. And, um, uh, the Federation fails to recognize this, we recognize this, the government fails to recognize, recognize this. People who think it's important to comment on my clothes fail to recognize this. And it's it's a sad state of affairs because this is what truly Federation ki Babu's India match match India we to take it as a joke now because uh, Federation it's, how do they get up in the federation and what's the do you have any idea on what's the sort of channel where these I'm guessing Londas get these high paying jobs and all to fucking yeah, so, first, so it's it's usually like um, so every every country's football federation is affiliated by the FIFA which is the head governing body for all of uh, the countries in the world um, but this federation this whole federation that I'm talking about these guys have been sitting on their seats. These were, these were, I'm saying were because they're, they're done now. Uh, retired army men ka matlab hai ki pas a paise chahiye taake mari saiz. Literally like, excuse my, I don't know, I'm, I'm just so sick of all of this stuff. But, um, uh, retired army men trying to run the show, um, trying to pocket as much money as possible, um, trying to pay up uh, absolutely zero if they have to, they would. Um, you know, it's just... Army it's army sad. Especially. I don't even like to talk about this stuff anymore. Especially it just retired. brings me down and I want to... Keep... I'm saying that every time we have an issue that's like a very like uh, deep but also easy systemic issue that who are these people who are making this wrong and stupid decision kar rahe hai, that it's some retired army man and also it's uh, Shalaz, yeah. going back to the original thing like army, 
ठीक है ठीक है पता नहीं इंडिया हमारे साथ क्या करेगा इंडिया इसराइल भी हो सकता है वी डोंट वांट टू बी पैलेस्टाइन वगैरह वगैरह हम आर्मी की वजह से ही तो बचे रहे हैं सिर्फ वगैरह 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 मान लिया पर इट इज द इंस्टीट्यूशन ए आज तक वो लिटरली उन्हीं प्रोसीजर्स आइडियोलॉजीज और फंक्शंस पे चल रहा है जो गोरो ने इन लोगों के लिए छोड़ के गए थे ठीक है ये बाकी हम लोगों को फॉरेन एजेंट्स वगैरह कहते हैं अगर हल्का से इनको क्रिटिसाइज कर लो इनका लिटरल पूरी साइंस इज गोरा और हाउ दे वांटेड पोस्ट कॉलोनियल आर्मीज टू बी एंड देन एज एन इंस्टीट्यूशन लाइक मैस्कुल मैस्कुलिटी की इंस्टीट्यूशनलाइजेशन का आर्मी से बड़ा कोई सिंबल या एग्जाम्पल है दुनिया में आई डोंट थिंक सो लाइक like, पूरी दुनिया में लाइक वन ऑफ दन ऑफ द कूलेस्ट थिंग्स एंड लाइक टू मेक इट अबेट करोना रेलिवेंट ऑल ऑफ द कंट्रीज मोस्ट ऑफ द कंट्रीज दर बिन एबल टू बीट करोना हैव बिन लेड बाई वेमेन नॉट जस्ट वेमेन एज देर हेड्स ऑफ स्टेट्स बट वेमेन इन देर इंपॉर्टेंट मिनिस्ट्रीज फाइव ईयर्स अगो द यूरोपियन यूनियन डिड कंडक्टेड यूरोपियन यूनियन वाइड स्टडी दैट सेट दैट नो मैटर लेफ्ट सेंटर और राइट वेन वेमेन आर इन चार्ज automatically your federal spending is diverted towards healthcare education and environment whereas things that really matter things that literally truly matter mm-hmm. things that the corona pandemic has like unveiled are possibly what makes life not tanks right mm-hmm. and so like it just literally comes back to the same issue that like the people who have the economic socio economic power to decide whether hajra's team to go off or is halted at every step are of the same ideology that of the people who are going to comment on her eid outfit because it doesn't uh, uh, sit right with their expectation fucking conspiracy dude chala do sab kuch chala do <laughs> no you're absolutely right like and it's so tragic so if if hajra is saying ki pichle 4 saal se tod nahi kiya that would be what 22 to 26 years of your life for a sportsman losing those 4 years and usse pehle fir ban bhi tha to 4 5 saal like for those 4 years for any athlete's life is is we na we have limited shelf life ab pakistan mein athlete ye kar raha hota hai ki apni zabardasti shelf life bada raha hota hai taki yaar ko chance mil jaye taki you know federation ke shayad dimag se ho jaye taki like you know ek do aur opportunities mil jaye bahar khelne ke liye it's just any i am so upset because all of these football players that i'm talking about are kuch ne sports chhod diye hain now some of them are got got married some of them are got got married still keeping active but it's just how you pulled out you sucked out life of an athlete while with your politicism polit- politicization of everything that you've done and without caring about how itna mushkil hota hai ek ladki ko ghar se bahar nikal ke usko football khelana you don't you, it's still it's all disregarded it's not easy like with me my coaches we used to go and sit down um liari mein bahut achhi bachche hote the bahut achhe they were really good at their sport and go to their families and just convince them ki yaar apni beti ko bhej do or not just liari just anywhere like you know in every social economic background ko bol ko bolo ja ke yaar i'm playing we're safe everything is fine send your daughter let's just like you know please unko bhi ulta kya chahiye incentive because kisi aur jagah se incentive nahi mil raha fir we would give their daughters education and like health and like you know uh, transport and stuff so it's just it takes so much to finally get a girl from their houses to play and then there's no support from the federation imagine so it's just you know uh, i don't know it's just really disappointing and frustrating and, and you can't blame the person right agar char saal wo kuch nahi kar rahe to wo kya kare because the onus is on you you have an academy you probably have the facilities to stay fit and practice each day to put the onus on the athlete ke char saal kuch bhi nahi hoga aap ghar baithe hain aur fit bhi rahe without any camp without any facilities इन दो होप्स के मे बी चार पांच साल बाद इनके दिमाग ठीक हो जाए एंड एक टोर हो जाए खाना छाना बड़ा टाइट पराठे कम कर दो पराठे कम कर दो बेसिकली 
Punjabis basically all these babus that I'm talking about and love my practice you have done in the past 5 years what have you done in the past 5 now I, I would say I'm pretty privilege would say in the sense that I still have that fight in my head that I want to play and keep playing until I'm like 30, 35 or whatever. So I keep fit myself. You know, I I know what I'm eating. I am I would say I am lucky because um, a, I pushed hard to get myself somewhere and then now I'm at a position where my voice is heard. So I have foreign years or years in, in other countries who, who are listening to me and hence I'm able to go still go play abroad, still go train abroad. Um, but what about the rest of the girls? What about the, what about, like, I mean, I'm paying for my tours myself. And in this past couple of years, five, six years, I've had invitations of the, for the football team, for the entire team from, you name a country, I have an invite from them, right? And they're going to be like, come bring, bring your team, like, we'll host you, we'll play. And I pitch into the Federation and the Federation will be like, okay, no, this is not a priority anymore. So it's just really disappointing. I mean, the whole complete set of being a footballer in Pakistan in today's age is really not the idealist thing. So, I mean, I know you also toured some Bundesliga clubs. Why don't you just go and play for a foreign club? Um, so, A, it's not um, very easy to go play for. I was training with them um, and I came back really happy. I, I actually got into like a third division club. Uh, but that too. So in 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 up country, countries, it's not aage paunch gaye. They have their own specific visas. So there is a footballer's visa yeah. in Germany, right? Which requires you to make a minimum of three thousand euros. But problem is that the women's football is not paid enough. So they were paying me twelve hundred euros or something, and my visa required three thousand. So it's just a lot of these things that you have to sort of you know cater to or like go through to sort of get where you want. I figured that US, I was training in the US uh, last summer and um, it's easier to go play there but it's not easy to get signed there because a US system is right? They get their players from uh, varsity team, the university team space and mm-hmm. even on their national team they have players who they pick from the title line and like you know all of that. So it's amazing to see how every country has their own Nizam but the country that I am from has no Nizam at all. No, they have, you know? they have such a good Nizam. They have the best Nizam prioritize our mud so they can embarrass us in every field, at every chance, in every moment. We just have Nazim. We don't have Nizam. We have a Nazim that everyone must salute to and follow. So it's just, there's so much. <laughs> I was saying that Nazim was very disappointed that his name was not given. Which Nazim? I'm talking about Nazim. I'm talking about Nazim. I'm talking about Nazim. But uh, interestingly, I think masculinity also, uh, toxic masculinity really plays a role in these failed corona policies. There was just a picture that PTI tweeted today or yesterday where General Bajwa, Sare, sub elected officials, army men, mask, and Imran Khan's walking without a mask. Now, you talk about Donald Trump, you talk about Boris Johnson, you talk about Imran Khan, you talk about Modi, all these hyper masculine leaders just by exhibiting not wearing a mask. Well, Trump, to the extent, looked square into a solar eclipse just to pre- prove what, what a big man he is. I mean, he tear gassed protesters just to do a photo op yesterday just so that he can stand in front of a church and take a picture he t- tear gas protesters brought in the military pro- police just so that he can feel like a big man so it's it, these are not just concepts you know like we will say mm-hmm. oh, it's from the social sciences Perlia. they directly contribute look at all the countries with the worst corona record america pakistan who are our leaders and what are they being governed by these toxic ideas i mean yeah, yeah it's just it's it's like it's diffused into everything, right? Like, uh, I think like after leader to Vui Yoga, for example, Jo Aapke Logon Ko Achcha Lagega. So, jis tarah ki cheeze hume achhi lagti hain, wo to you get like it's the I think the leader is a symptom of the malaise of the uh, society. Imran Khan, in lots of ways, like I I actually do think that the Imran Khan Donald Trump comparison is a bit inaccurate. Because, uh, and it's 
once again, it's not too much of a productive debate on why it's inaccurate, right? But I do think the uh, the Trumpist bull, like I do think the, the U.S. narrative is in its own age. Yeah. But I, हमारे जो सारी discourse जो मैंने अपने घर पे भी देखी जो आप most आप like most privileged घरों पे देखोगे सरमायादारों के घरों पे देखोगे वो ये थी with regards to corona response के ओ तो क्या ये corona की वजह से मुल्क बंद करने के लिए वो गरीब लोग भूखे जाएं which was the same argument that Imran Khan uh, used and it was a very different argument from the one that Trump used because Trump was like no like they just want America to stop working. Imran Khan's lie slash perspective was oh, I'm doing this for the daily wager. When in fact, like all the policies quite transparently weren't for the daily wager as much as it was for the karhana that the daily wager was working at, right? Because Pakistan, Pakistan ki ration drive approach towards Corona pe to, dunia bhar mein article chhap rahe ke bro like do do mahino ka khana pure mulk ne apne gareebo ko pahunchaya hai. I am sure it must not have covered 100%, but it covered a lot. And, bef- and it was continuing to uh, cover. And before the fucking month was over, before the month jiska ration mil chuka hai was over, humare... Uh, Imran Khan said that because the food is closed, no one has anything to eat, right? Pakistan is a very, like, uh, like on our own kind of country. And when we realized that our state would not be able to do jack shit, we took it in our hands. And I saw everyone, everyone around me, everyone around me was doing some form of Russian drive, was getting Russian to some form and some uh, types of communities in thousands. In thousands, I know that millions even. I know that still must not have met the gap. But I think at the end of the day, it comes back to just with the uh, fucking football federation. It comes back, comes down to who you are prioritizing, right? Are you prioritizing in in the gender case with the with the teams? Are you pri- prioritizing the success of the men over the success of of the women, or are you just prioritizing the success of the men so much that you can't think about anything else? And with regards to the economy, I'm sure our society has been very fucking hurt. By the way, like my mother also told me this whole story that bro, like our society, the capitalists, is such that they are so big like. We will stop producing and then we will let people go hungry and they'll uh, hold the government accountable. But I also think your economic system is prioritizing. At the end of the day, is it prioritizing the frontline workers? Frontline to apne, pehle to wo health, etc. Et frontline to in Corona. Is your government prioritizing them? Is your government essentially prioritizing reproductive labor, which is literally. 50% of how the fucking world functions, right? Or is your government prioritizing productive labor, right? Which is okay, that now women and children are involved in the workplace, but largely it's men's work. And what Imran Khan has disappointedly done, disappointingly done, and I actually don't know what his Bibi Pirni and the Peer's like Sufi uh, a spirit is advising them because if they were listening to that Sufi spirit, I showed they must have been on some better path. But the whatever advice he's gotten is that bro, like we have to prioritize the samadari because if mass production rupee, to phir to log bhuke matenge. Jaise na pehle to jaise logon ko to Pakistan mein to log uh, hamare pas wo hai nahi us tarah ke idare. America jaise mulk mein samajh aati hai ki bhai agar Walmart khatam ho gaya to khuda ki kasam logon ke pas idea nahi hoga ki khana kidhar se khana hai but hamara mulk us tarah ka nahi hai hamare abhi bhi non institutional ways of food non institutional ways of fucking leisure wagera all of these existed and we just don't give a shit about them because we are looking to suck capitalism's <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, pakistan aisa mulk hai main kal news dekh raha tha marriage halls consortium has given the government an ultimatum and i'm like ye to haal hai is mulk ka marriage hall owners oh. association is like oye <laughs> oye imran i love i love agar tum not marriage just halls nahi khole to hum mulk ban jayenge it was lahore marriage hall it was lahore marriage hall association not pakistan lahore <laughs> Hajra, you are not mobilizing logo ko. Jab marriage halls association government gira sakti hai, I think by crowdsourcing, uh, we can probably raise enough for the women's team to tour on our own or do like a 
alternate organizers. We can raise. People are throwing money. We can raise easy. <clears throat> but it's also like, एक नई खबर फिर छप जाएगी सारे प्लेयर्स मेरे जो है थ्रेट होना शुरू हो जाएंगे कि अच्छा ये पाकिस्तान का नाम बर्बाद करेगी शॉर्ट्स में जाके बाहर खेलेगी हमारे तो मसले ही अलग है ना सो so, वो बाहर जाने से पहले ही कुछ काम ऐसे हो जाएंगे कि फिर वी वुड नेवर बी एबल टू सो इट्स जस्ट वेरी वेरी ट्रिकी विद व्हेन इट कम्स टू लाइक फीमेल स्पोर्ट्स एंड वुमेंस फुटबॉल एंड एंड यू नो ऑल ऑफ दैट नो यू गेट कंसीडर योर आर्ट एंड योर फील्ड I will take the fucking government accountable. तुम लोग गेम पे कंसंट्रेट करो बस। सारे मैरिज हॉल्स मैं और जुल्फी जाके बंद कर देंगे। बस ऑन द मैरिज हॉल्स। मैरिज हॉल्स में ट्रेनिंग होगी अब से औरतों की फुटबॉल की। Literally, literally that's the Pakistan I want. कि मैरिज हॉल में मैं फुटबॉल की ट्रेनिंग हो। वैसे वो तो हाँ जो व्हाट्स हैपनिंग इन द एकेडमी आई एम अस्यूमिंग इट्स बीन शट फॉर कपल ऑफ मंथ्स No, no, no. Academy. So the thing is that um, it was supposed to launch, but the corona got launched. Yeah. So um, I actually had. Um, I mean, it's registered and everything is set. I was actually going to have uh, run clinics in Dilgit uh, Baltistan, Azad Kashmir, Islamabad. That was already planned uh, for March, but um, unfortunately, it didn't happen. So it's just like delayed, delayed, delayed until we can have it again. So uh, with the academy situation, my um, So the structure of the academy is not just to sort of have kids and make money and plus mm. what what your favorite team does, but um, <laughs> the the uh, fuck you, Karachi United. तुम लोगों ने बहुत जलील कर दिया. I am disowning Karachi United from now. अगले club tournament में मैं सामाद को support करूँगा. No, but my academy, how how we work is we take the academy to places where we think it's most needed, um, and then uh, we pick out players, and then we uh, uh, give these players exposure and direct them to the national team and clubs abroad, basically. Nice. So um, because there's multiple academies already, you know, who are um, having kids to come and play and train, and you know, uh, just making a little buck and everything's fine, but. That's not how I want to roll because that's not the change that I want to bring to the country because that's no change at all. So um, it's just yeah, development where it matters is what I stand with. So um, that's why I think it's very important to go to these places where people don't come in here. You will not imagine there's 12 villages in um, Gilgit, Baltistan, where there's girls playing football and they don't even have shoes. So huh. imagine um, getting. the training that i get or my experience or my exposure and the skill and the equipment there and imagine what if we come up with the next best player in pakistan you know or you know south asia whoever so it's just you have to enable these um communities that are not like very freely able because the support of parents in gilgit baltistan is 100% it's 100% uh, um uh literacy rate there for women and girls so uh why not you know i think karishma also yeah. runs some camp in chitral for football oh uh, yeah i mean i'm not really sure about camps but there is uh, in gilgit baltistan as well in chitral as well there's girls who are from the same origin trying to work things out and luckily have uh but um again like you know like i say i know people so many people are thinking on this level where i'm thinking way beyond so there's a lot that can be done for them um yeah i will be enabling all these young girls that are doing for the clubs but um for me there's so much more to do so you know it's great it's great what both of you are doing if nothing else is to set examples for people that there is another way uh zulfi do you want do you want to drop some more truth bombs before we conclude this No, no. If you ask me a question, I will answer it possibly with truth bomb, but none that are shola bar. आप मुझे अपनी gender jihad theory तो समझाने फिर because you stopped there, you were like this will be a huge debate if I get into this. किसकी philosophy है क्या? But I'm quite intrigued. And you have the, yeah. I yield my time to Zulfi. The simplest, the simplest idea is that Islam always and the idea of tawhid always has made itself vaze. From this battle between Huck and Zul, जो हम like for example in like uh, American and crazy discourses we know as this like good and evil, right? Uh, I think 
जो आजकल की दुनिया में एग्जाम्पल्स और मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ जुल्म है वो नॉट सिर्फ जेंडर के बेसिस पे हो रहे हैं बट एक जेंडर्ड थिंकिंग के तरीके में हो रहे हैं जेंडर जिहाद इज इज इट्स इट्स जस्ट लाइक अ सॉर्ट ऑफ रिफ्रेशाइजेशन ऑफ समथिंग दट्स ऑलवेज एग्जिस्टेड इन लॉट्स ऑफ आर सूफी पोइट्स इन लॉट्स ऑफ आर पुराने पुराने आप उनको पोइट कह लो आप उन्हें एक्टिविस्ट कह लो आप उन्हें लाइक इवन लाइक एंटाई एम्पायर प्रिंसेस कह लो दारा शिको फॉर एग्जाम्पल कह लो सरमद शेख कह लो और उसमें सिर्फ ये एक बात होती थी कि जो अल्लाह तोहद की जो एक जो रियालिटी है ना वो कंसिस्टेंट रहेगी बिफोर एंड आफ्टर एनी वन राइट तारिक जमील के कुछ कहने से अल्लाह नहीं पैदा हो जाता या किसी के किसी के अल्लाह को झुटलाने से या अल्लाह को या इस्लाम को मिसरेप्रेजेंट करने से या इस्लाम को रिप्रेजेंट करना एज एज सम एज दिस वायलेंट मेंटेनेंस ऑफ अ सोशल ऑर्डर करने से अल्लाह का जो ट्रूथ है विल नॉट चेंज विल नॉट बी रिफ्रेश और टेलर्ड एक्सेट्रा 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 जेंडर जेंडर जहाज इज सिंपली द बिलीफ इन अ वेरी पाकिस्तानी कॉन्टेक्स के जो हक और जुल्म के बीच में लड़ाई है जिसके लिए हमें अल्लाह ने जिहाद पे कमांड की है वो लड़ाई इज नॉट जस्ट इज नॉट अ लड़ाई बिटवीन कौन कौन हमारे ओपिनियन में बिलीवर है या कौन बिलीवर नहीं है किसको हम डिसाइड और जज करेंगे कि वो मुस्लिम बंदा है या वो नॉन मुस्लिम बंदा है वो जिहाद की जो जंग है वो हमेशा से थी और हमेशा से रहेगी बिटवीन हक एंड जुल्म वो हक इन वो जुल्म की तरफ मुनाफिकीन इस्लाम वाला बंदा भी हो सकता है और वो हक की तरफ यहूदी भी हो सकता है ईसाई भी हो सकता है उस हिसाब से जेंडर जेंडर जिहाद की का ये परस्पेक्टिव है कि द वर्ल्ड वी लिव इन टुडे इज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ मैस्कुलिस्ट आइडियोलॉजीज इन आर सोशल इकोनॉमिक एंड पोलिटिकल सिस्टम इफ वी सिंपली स्टार्ट प्रायोरिटाइजिंग द विजडम and the resistance that has persisted in femininity and womanhood despite all these colonizations by masculinity that we will uh, we will once again be able to turn ourselves towards huk i think kandil baloch is a great example of that is a great example of someone who was ridiculed all her life while she was living but because the violence that was committed on her even though it was committed in the name of islam even though it was committed by the uh, by a bhai you know like a bhai jisko aap mm-hmm. like uh, legitimize ho jata hai kyunki oh uska bhai hai usne haq honor uska bachana tha right and there's like a mulla maulvi imam also attached to it despite all of those protections of pakistani ideas when that zulm was levied you could not have anyone deny anyone deny anyone with the slightest khauf e khuda deny कि ये जुल्म हुआ है कोई ये जुल्म हुआ है जो एको हुआ है और ये हमेशा से हो रहा है औरंगजेब ने और औरंगजेब आलमगीर वाज सॉर्ट ऑफ द प्रोजेनेटर ऑफ ब्लास्फमी लॉज इन द सब कॉन्टिनेंट एंड उसके जमाने में उसका उसका जो भाई बड़ा भाई था दारा शिक्को दारा शिक्को एक सूफी स्कॉलर और पोइट सरमद शेख के साथ काम कर रहा था एक बड़ा बहुत बिग स्कॉलरली प्रोजेक्ट था जिसमें वो चाहता था कि वो कुरान को एक साइड पे और हिंदू उपनिषद जो है जिससे हिंदू जो उनका टेक्स है उनको साथ साथ पर्जियन में ट्रांसलेट करें इसलिए वो ट्रांसलेट करना चाहता था क्योंकि वो प्रूव करना चाहता था जो ट्रूथ है जो तोहिद का ट्रूथ है इट इज नॉट एक्सक्लूसिव टूवर्ड्स एनी पीपल ऑफ एनी वन क्रीड वन फेथ वन रीजन वन एनी थिंग दैट दैट ट्रूथ इज एक्सेबल बिकॉज दैट ट्रूथ इज सुप्रीम दैट ट्रूथ इज एक्सेबल बाय ऑल वो प्रोजेक्ट आप सोचे इतना थ्रेटनिंग था to the fabric of politics on the basis of religion ki sarmad shaheed ek poet jo delhi mein nanga phirta tha nanga phirta tha polemic poetry karta tha usko despite despite so much opposition aur aurangzeb and ulman aur aurangzeb aur aurangzeb ki ulma ne uska sar kalam karwaya tha jab uska sar kalam karwaya tha to उसके 
went on what we can now call a general strike strike of sorts, right? Where they all left their karobar vagera vagera, and they were in this form of protest where pura unka empire ruk gaya tha. But aaj bhi sarmat ki jo darga hai, wo uh, Delhi mein hai. Uh, it's bright as uh, red. And when 2015 mein uh, they they repealed 377, which decrim uh, which criminalized uh, same sex relationship, the British law. The celebrity, the uh, Jashin movement, the Jashin protest started from Sarmad's darga, and like you know, there is no. We have lots of politics that support Aurangzeb, bagera bagera, but there is no no example of that form of true love for that that purveyor of zulm as much as there still is in the subcontinent uh, for that purveyor of hak. So that's like a sort of small but obtuse summary of gender jihad. <laughs> no, it's also interesting that we have this culture or religion. We throw it into people's faces without realizing what our own culture and history is. Like anecdotally about Sir Mother's law, times things are said that uh, even when he was called Sir Kalam Kardia, the Sir was alive and the naked body was uh, roaming around. And then when once he was asked that. Why do you roam around naked? And he's like, tell me one person who's not born naked. And बहुत इंतहाई reductionist बात है ये कहना. But इस तरह के भी articles लिखे गए हैं कि औरंगजेब आलमगीर was the original Taliban. Uh, not to say कि दारा आ जाता तो जी Sufi culture arts की नहरें बहना शुरू हो जाती. ये binary भी थोड़ी reductionist है. But uh-huh. it might have been a better world out there for us. Uh, just yeah, one. I just wanted to also अभी दारा पे मैं एक ये बात कहना चाहता था. कि दारा का ना एक उसका बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग ओपिनियन था ही यूज टू एंड आई थिंक ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट बात है विद रिगार्ड्स टू आज को जो हमारी डिस्कशन हो रही है विद प्रिवलेज विद मनी विद कैपिटलिज्म राइट दारा दारा का थियोलॉजिकल बिलीफ था दैट एम्पायर्स आर ए रियलिटी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड राइट बट दैट एम्पायर्स डेवलप सो दे कैन सो दे कैन सेंट्रलाइज सेंट्रलाइज एफर्ट एंड वेल्थ फॉर ए सिविलाइजेशनल एवोल्यूशन बट Once they serve their purpose, like a phoenix, like a phoenix, they're supposed to burn down, right? So to so to spread what they have uh, hoarded or centralized onto an entire community. So the reason Aurangzeb also had to get Dara murdered was because Dara intended to disintegrate the Mughal Empire. Yes, and uh, for people who are more interested, I would also highly advise googling Madhulal Hussain and reading that story. If you are Sufi or uh, apne culture ki baat karte hain, so which I really think somebody should make into a Netflix series as well. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for joining us. Sajra, would you like to say something before we conclude? No, uh, thanks for having me. Uh, I think Zulfi was the perfect uh, candidate to share the screen with. Uh, so thanks, Zulfi. For your honor. <laughs> जो जो चीजें जो जो चीजें मुझे फेडरेशन से निकलवा देती वो जुल्फी ने बोली और मैंने बस नोट कर दिया ताकि मैं बोल सकू मैंने तो नहीं बोला मैंने तो नहीं बोला मैं इसलिए बुलाता हूँ मैं ऐसे लोगों को इसलिए पॉडकास्ट में बुलाता हूँ कि कल को कोई मुझे मर्डर करने आए मतलब मतलब आपने ये पॉडकास्ट देखी है आप पहले इनको तो सुने मुझे मारने से पहले जुल्फी की बातें सुनी आपने अगर आपको मेरी बातें ऑफेंसिव लगती है जुल्फी आपने वो डीएम की भी बात की थी डू यू थिंक यू क्वेश्चन स्टेटस को लॉट मोर बिकॉज even in terms of trans we have certain ideas right ke oh ye sadak pe hain ye log hain disenfranchised hain aur ek notion to humne banaya hua hai ki ji badi hum log izzat karte hain jabki nahi karte even agar koi restaurant mein aake baith jaye to you'll just be like ye kya bakwas hai but ek notion hai ki oh hum to inki badi izzat karte hain ya hamare uh, literature mein bhi their uh, venerated figures so you sort of break that they're like wait what a minute wait a minute what this is not somebody who's on the street begging and is trans ye kya hai No, I definitely. I think class has a lot to do with it. Um, I think one of the most uh, in illuminating uh, things that I learned was that for all of class's privileges, uh, there is so much. There is so much that class tries to regulate and control and chain you with. And in my experience, with regards to the queer men that I've interacted with, 
class is their chain that wants them to maintain as many privileges as they can. So for them, this that I am, because you have to understand, I was in H.S. Sonian, right? For the longest fucking time. Okay, I had like, like, in retrospect. But I think uh, a lot of people are shocked by this because A, they don't understand that, oh, how do you have family support, right? Because uh, people of my similar privileges, a lot of their bop, are trying to maintain how they want their bacha ladka to be and it all comes down to the economics of it all so i do think that part is kind of uh, the jarring part but i think that's the part that's also protected me a lot because uh, yaar pehle mujhe log bahut mazak uraate the no one would take me seriously at all about anything and this was before the hulia meri baatein wohi thi jo abhi hain Sirf now my holy also represents uh, my beliefs. Uh, when the Yale made mission was made, suddenly you have to understand, like literally, in days of difference, mein, the fucking legitimacy that was thrown on my face from my own friends, my own friends that would question literally everything I would say as like too radical, too ye wo, ye wo, suddenly were like, hmm, like, this is what you know, so we're like, you know, listening. Uh, so i think yeah it's a it's a complicated battle i do think uh uh if for example my rich dad still had and we can elaborate on this some other day if my rich dad still had the kind of control that the patriarchal institute of the family and of economics uh gives to him i would not be able to even reach the mental liberation to be able to feel comfortable wearing what I feel right wearing. So yeah, it's a mixed bag, but I love it. Awesome. We would love to unpack that some other day. Both of you are more than welcome. Anytime you guys want to come back on, this was so much fun yeah. to talk to both of you. Uh, thank you so much guys. Either we want to message to the com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hajar, we didn't get the name of your academy, by the way. <laughs> It's the Fortis Sports Academy. Fortis yeah. Sports Academy. And it's in Islamabad? Uh, like I said, we take the academy to places, so the academy is in my heart. But is it is it on social media? Uh, it's coming out, yes. Okay. Wait once for it. I'll share it. Once it's out, go like there, follow Ulfi and Hajra Khan on social media. Thank you so much for listening, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks.